Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, February 15th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the price you see over here will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time, but I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks represent 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, PLTR, monster, monster move today. And in fact, to illustrate this better, let me squeeze this down because you can see that the price has actually gotten up through, I believe. That former area of resistance, right? Uh, doing battle with it right now as I speak. So I take that back. But this area right here from the highs back here in early February, you can see the price is right back up to that area and is doing battle with it, like I said, as I speak. So the big question mark headed into Wednesday is who's ultimately going to win out here? Are the bears going to win out and then create some sort of push to the downside? Now, that does not mean that the chart's destroyed. Just a, a push to the downside, meaning some sort of pullback. Now, of course, I suppose it could mean an absolute reversal where the price just drops all the way back down here. Again, I'm not saying that's going to happen or anything like that. Uh, but that is one scenario is maybe this level of resistance holds strong. But the more exciting question is, well, you know what? Maybe this is just the start of a much bigger move, and there's going to be just a huge breakout that comes from this area. Again, nobody knows the future in that way, but what a lot of people do know is that this is a very interesting and very key dynamic right now, and that's what a watch list is all about, to find unique, to find interesting situations, and not rush out and buy anything, but to watch it and see how things play out. So if you like to play potential breakouts, or if you want to maybe try to catch a pullback before then a breakout, there are a lot of scenarios right now, but the underlying dynamic here is big volume, big price movement, and the price is now up here at a very technical key level. Next one, BWV, and a very rough right now, final 30 minutes of the day. You can see that this big red candle uh, has created quite the pullback. Now, does that destroy the entire chart? It doesn't, but there's perspective that goes into it, meaning if you're a day trader, flipper, scalper, and you bought right there, or maybe you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes, well then, yes, from that perspective, things are looking pretty rough here right now for you. But overall, everything is still perfectly fine. Meaning that, yes, I fully acknowledge that there is this pullback that has taken place. You can't deny that. But assuming you do care about the bigger picture, part of that is saying, okay, well, yeah, I care about the big picture. So what was happening before this downwards channel? And what happened before that was this big old explosion up there like so, which has now allowed me to draw a bull flag pattern. Now, just because something's bullish doesn't mean that the price is for sure going to continue to go up. But my point here is that if you do care about the grand scheme of things, then what you ultimately have right now is a bull flag pattern. So if you like stocks down below $5, you like bull flag patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one here, SRNE, talked about this one in yesterday's watch list. But at that moment, I couldn't really comment on patterns or you know setups or anything because it, it wasn't. It was just literally straight down. But in this situation, we do finally have a pattern would make, which makes this very interesting. And it's all based around the fact, very anticlimactic, that, hey, the price has finally started to go sideways, which is pretty relevant compared, given that yesterday the price literally just went straight down essentially all day long. Now, let me be very clear, and I wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because the price has started to go sideways now does not mean for sure guaranteed this is the bottom and that for sure guaranteed there's a bounce coming. My point here is that it at least becomes plausible now to start to question, well, hey, maybe just maybe this is some sort of bottom that is finally forming, which brings about a potential no double bottom type scenario here where you have this downwards movement that's finally gone sideways at 18 cents. Let me be very clear again. I'm not saying 18 cents is gonna for sure hold, but at least becomes logical with the sideways movement. So from a risk reward standpoint, assuming of course you can be disciplined, even if you get a modest bounce compared to what was being risked, you could be looking at a very interesting situation. So yeah, SRNE, one of these potential bankruptcy stocks which can bounce and make big movements. Uh, like I said, very interesting scenario here. Again, assuming you will be a disciplined trader. Next one here, AMST, and I like this because there's a couple of well-defined areas depending on what your you know per, uh, personal preference is. So if you're some sort of breakout player, then in my oops, in my mind there's a, a very well-defined level right up here at that 63 cent mark. So if the price can recover back up there, you can see 63 cents has been pretty stubborn, rejected the price, and then about three times in a row there rejected the price. So again, nothing guaranteed, but if the price were to go up there and then break up through it, valid to think that it's plausible that that break, even if you want to call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, but that break could create additional buying pressure in terms of support. So if you're someone that likes to play more so pullbacks, 
Interesting level down here at that level of 47 cents, just as a classic example here of a former area of resistance, then turning into a level of support right there. So if the price does go down there, again, no guarantees, but is it valid to think that 47 cents could once again provide an area of buying? That is a plausible thought. Next one, AMC, and just uh, kind of a broken record at this point. Once again, lower highs and lower lows, so the bleeding and downtrend continues. Uh, you know, from where it was, just to offer up a bit more context, after that huge move that ultimately carried it up into the sevens, the thing now continues to drift lower and lower, and then just give it that much more context, you can see that the price is starting to threaten. Potentially, it's not there yet, but it is getting closer and closer to this area down here, which is below the $4 mark. So like I said, I'm not going to say that it, it's a total, total epic destroy chart, but it's starting to, you know, that needs to start to, you know, come into the conversation because it's starting to creep down towards that general area. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that level and then just make this a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this level of support down to here to that level at 438. The reason for that, nothing fancy, nothing complicated at all. Literally just based on the question of where did the bleeding finally stop today? And that was down there at 438. And then as far as levels of resistance, I think the easiest way to measure this going forward is just to watch that purple line there which denotes a very well-known 50 period simple moving average currently valued at 483. Uh, but as the, you know, as the name implies, it's a moving average. So as time goes by, this line will continue to move lower and lower, uh, you know, with each passing 30 minute uh, period there. So like I said, if you want to just use that as a tread line, that's going to draw itself for you. Uh, then I think that's the most, uh, you know, clean way to go about it right now. But yeah, overall the bleeding continues. Real quick, I wanted to personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency, to manage risk, then certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then I definitely want you to get signed up for the free live training. Next one, M-A-R-A. -A. Very, very nice move today. Very impressive. Uh, you know, let me add in a little bit more perspective as there had been a very big pullback here. In fact, let me just get that out of here from an, that's an older annotation, but no doubt about it, starting to ha get some life again. And it's just a question of can this life continue? So the next key level of overarching resistance that you got to think a lot of people are watching and sticks out like a sore thumb is that pink line, which on my chart denotes the very famous 200 period moving average right now valued at, let's just call it $7.20 because again, it'll continue to drop as tomorrow plays out. So that level or that value will change. So for simplicity's sake, let's just call it $7.20 as that next key area of resistance. But the key thing here that moving forward that I'd say to keep an eye on is that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, as I noted, but notice how it's starting to flatten out here. So the next phase would be, okay, great. It's no longer trending down like it was here. It's finally starting to flatten out, but now let's see if it can curl upwards. And if you can get it curling upwards and moving in the right direction, that is certainly going to be a good sign of power on the bulls part. So like I said, I'm not willing to say that the bulls are back in full control. I'm not willing to say any of that, but I am willing to say that, okay, it, it should start to at least be talked about that. Maybe just maybe the bulls are getting ready to take back over control because you got that level starting to flatten out here. So it'll be interesting to see how that moving average continues to, to unfold over the next couple of days. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And I don't really need to say much but just an absolutely monster move. But I am gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back and do a quick plug for that class that I talked about. This will mean a bit more to those of you that watch past videos, but if you have, you know that I put that green line in there and you know that it's been in there for a while. Check it out. Look right where this thing decided to bounce from this morning. Gap down, came down, and then kaboom, up it went. So for anybody that was you know, buying calls or going along the stock itself, congratulations. I'm sure you're gonna have a, a good Tuesday evening, but huge move there. But again, just illustrates the power of charts. Are they perfect? No, but are they a tool that is worth learning? Yes, so definitely get signed up for that training. But gonna go ahead and make the first update here, and this is just based on the foundational rule that when levels of resistance are broken, they tend to act as support. So in the very near term, if there are any sort of pullbacks right there around the 203 mark, give or take, will be that key level. But now the level that everybody and their brother's uncle is gonna be watching, and I put this level in play before, so I'm curious about it, is this overall tread line right here, which is now you can see the price is essentially right at that level, which going back to, I, th I think the first stock, yeah, PLTR, same general idea is okay. The price is essentially at that tread line. The big question mark moving forward is can it break out? If it does break out, is that gonna be the leading indicator of even more momentum? Or is this thing gonna get rejected back downwards? Nobody knows what's gonna happen for sure, but everybody knows to be throwing out that question of, all right, the price is at a very key level. What's gonna happen? How can I build or potentially build a trade plan around this sort of price action? But yeah, anyway, look at it. Very impressive day here for Tesla. Next one, NIO, and like AMC, 
a very quick way to measure this one from a resistance standpoint is going to be that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. You can see has done a very accurate job right there was a false breakout of it of rejecting the price, which as we just talked about and why I put it where I did in terms of the, the, the sequence of stocks is same general question once again, because you can see that the price is essentially right at that purple line. So I'm not gonna repeat myself, but I'll just say the same exact question now pertains in regards to the price action relative to that very key level. So keep that in mind, uh, You know, one of those levels that you gotta think a lot of people are watching. And then as far as supports are concerned, keep an eye on that $10 mark moving forward. You can see right there, did a good job of holding support. And then several times this morning, uh, like I said, so if you like to play bounces, then potentially $10 if that comes into play. But in my mind, the most interesting you know, dynamic is all about that question. Can it break through that 50 period moving average? Next one, AAPL Apple. So a couple quick observations here. Everybody's heard of Apple, very popular stock. I don't think anybody has not heard of the stock Apple. And then you combine that fact with the fact that the price is now right here at a very, very key level. In fact, if I make this a bigger picture point of view, just from a trend or an overall pattern point of view. So let me change that real quick to green to represent the support part of the pattern. But we have ourselves a bull pennant. So let me do it very quickly. So resistance, support, big move right there, golf hole down here. So bull pennant pattern. So that's the context. But you can see right now, and once again, I'm not going to repeat myself, but same general dynamic that I've been talking about. Price is at a very key level. So what happens next? Is this the start of a bigger breakout? Does it get rejected? All sorts of what if scenarios, but a lot of potential trade plans can be built based on your personal strategy. So yeah, Apple, very, very interesting dynamics here. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you think the NASDAQ market is going to rise, this one will also rise. Huge difference though, this allows you access at a much lower price point. So for you veterans that watch these videos on a routine basis, you're probably gonna be very relieved to know that, all right, this trend line has officially been broken. It's a certainly, it's uh, you know officially irrelevant. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally delete that out. It's been an annoyance for many, I'm sure over the past several days with the price just getting rejected by it. Uh, but that level, like I said, has officially been broken out. And a little bonus here to point out is that even this level, I think, nope, not quite, almost. But this overarching level has been broken. So I, I get it. It's the common theme here that keeps, in fact, I, let me just get rid of that line. That's served its purpose. But you know what I'm gonna say next is, all right, and this this is a very, look at that, boom, boom, boom. And now the price is sitting right at that level. So you know what, you're probably sick of me saying it. Oh, geez, another question, what is going on here? Is this the start of a bigger breakout? Is it not? And I get it, but sometimes that's just how the market plays out. You're gonna get a bunch of the same exact types of setups. Uh, and if it's not your style, if it's not your thing, then yeah, kind of a buzzkill. But if it is, well then, hey, that's fantastic. However, that's just the ever fluid nature of the market is everybody's gonna have sometimes days where you have all sorts of your setup, all sorts of situations that fit into your strategy. Other days, not so much. So if you're somebody that does like to potentially play breakouts, then again, the overall NASDAQ market is essentially sitting right there via the TQQQ here. Uh, but so keep an eye on it. Ask yourself that question, is this the start of something much bigger? Very well could be, but I can also just as equally see this thing getting rejected right back down. So long or short, you gotta manage risk because somebody's gonna be right, somebody's gonna be wrong. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the class. It'll be very soon, Thursday, February 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these videos are concerned, do two things for me, please. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're trading today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. Those two things communicate to me that you're enjoying. And as long as I know that you are enjoying, I will continue to put in the required time and effort to get this content out to you. So hit that like button, leave a comment down below and get signed up for that class. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.